What's the Chow Chin Chows? James PH Games here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Black LP. In the last episode, we got our first gym badge, the Trio Badge, as we challenged the first gym leader, Silent. And we learnt about Dream Mist and Game Sync and all those other things we don't really need to know because they don't actually exist. But it was a fun time, and we also got our third Pokemon to join our team at this moment in time, a temporary team member, as you guys will see. So let's take a look at our team rather quickly. First off, we have Samuel. He is our Oshawott, and he knows the moves Tackle, Tail Whip, Water Gun, and Water Sport, and he is level 15. And we have Yorkshire, level 13, with Vital Spirit for the ability, and of course, she knows the moves Le he knows the moves, sorry, not she, it's his he. He knows the moves Tackle, Lydia, Odor Sleeve, and Bite. And we have Fire Monkey, he's also a boy as well. And he knows the moves Scratch, Cut, Lick, and Incinerate. He, Fire Monkey is here because the fact is, well, Fire Monkey is our Cut Slave. Yay! Actually, that's not a bad nature. Mild nature is a b not a bad nature. It's, but it's a shame we got Gluttony, because uh, Gluttony uh, will make him eat his help. If he's holding a berry, it'll eat it. Uh, Pokemon with Gluttony ability will actually eat their berry earlier than any normal Pokemon. For example, a uh, Pokemon that has a berry, if it does not have Gluttony for ability, or it eats it when it's in the red, it's got about 25% left of its health. When a Pokemon that does have Gluttony for ability will eat it, they'll eat it when they're about 45 or 50 percent of their health left over. So they'll eat it quite considerably earlier than they want than you want them to, really, when you think about it. But it's okay; it's not a bad ability. I just don't like Gluttony. Okay, so we're going to challenge these twin trainers here. They have two purloins. They're quite annoying with their two purloins, but we'll be able to see what doubles battles are like in this game. So we can do that. We can. We're going to uh, tap. We're going to use water gun on one purloin, and we're going to use bite on the same purloin as, as well. Let's try and take it out. So hopefully we can take it out. But we will honestly see. Oh, oh, it flinched. It lives with one HP and flinches. That's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to water gun, and then uh, let's tackle. Let's tackle this time instead, because stab might get us the extra additional miles we need to kill a Pokemon. So. Let's do that. Let's tackle instead. Oh, it's a crit. Not bad, Yorkshire. And Yorkshire grows to level 14. Not even bad. Okay, so... I believe on this route we can find the Pat Rat. That and some other Pokemon. I think Pudov's on this route as well. But I'm not looking for a Pudov unless I want to make it my Fly Slave. Because am I? I'm actually not sure what I want for a Flying type in this game. There's, there's quite a few flying type Pokemon I wouldn't mind taking on this team. And no, before you ask, I'm not taking a Woobat. Woobats are available in ca most caves in this game. They replace Zubats in this game most of the time. You can get Zubats in the after game, but of course, the Gen 5 equipment to Zubat is Woobat, and it sucks. It really does suck. It evolves by happiness and into Swoobat, sh and it's not really that good. Joe, stop! We have both got a trio badge, right? <laughs> so let's see which one of us is the stronger. Okay, Charon, we'll see which one of us is the stronger. And yes, I did remember to give Charon his Scottish accent back. Okay, so Charon starts off with a Snivy. Level 14, okay. And we got Samuel the Oshawa in level 15. I want to switch out. Because Samuel the Oshawa cannot deal with Snivy, level 14. So I'm going to switch into Yorkshire, who can deal with it. And I could switch into Fire Monkey to get off the super effective moves, but the fact is, Fire Monkey's not part of the team, so I don't really care about Fire Monkey, he's just here for cut. Leer is annoying, but I think we'll just tackle and we'll see what happens. Oh, we're faster than him. Cool. Ow, that hurts. That was a crit! Damn you! I need a heal now! I need to use a fresh water! Fresh water will heal me 50 HP, but I'm gonna need to heal! I was not expecting you to crit there! My god, you do a lot of damage, and I do barely anything to you! Oh! I can crit too! 
Okay, so you live by the fact that you live with one HP, but you're already holding an ordinary, so you can heal back to about 10% of that HP. Okay, that's pretty cool. But you're dead now, Snivy. Bye bye. Okay, so he put a hurting on us to that Snivy, but uh, he's going to go into his Purloin now, and we should be able to destroy Purloin pretty nicely. So go on, Samuel. Okay, so in comes his Purloin. As long as this doesn't get us, doesn't try and attempt to use assist and try and get uh, Vine Whip on assist, we should be fine. Growl does our physical attack, it knocks down our physical attack one stage, but of course we're using special attack here because we are sort of a special attacking Pokemon. So we can do pretty nice damage with special attacks. Okay, so you, we live with one HP and you miss your four stripes, that's fine. I'm going to tackle you. There we go, not bad. Down goes the Purloin and we beat Sharon. I see. So that's how your Pokemon battle then. Out of the way. What was that about? What was that about? So that's my Barry voice, that's wrong voice, wrong character. Bianca, why are you running? You don't look like you're running, though. Hey, did, were those people head? Where were those people heading? They headed that way. But uh, Bianca, why are you running now? Actually, you've stopped running. You should why you keep on running. But sir, but seriously, they run so fast. Um, miss, um, my Pokemon. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Please don't cry, it'll be okay. Bianca, seriously, why are you running now? Uh, you have to hear this. Those people, they stole uh, this girl's Pokemon. You should have said that sooner. You should have spoken up sooner, the, uh, Bianca. Joe, I'm going to get back with the, that Pokemon. Bianca, please stay with the little girl. Okay. So, Cherin is going to try and get the Pokemon back from Team Plasma, and we're going to have to go and help him in a minute. So, we got a Super Potion here that will heal 50 HP, and in this grass we can find a Padov, which we don't want. Unless we're going to make it our Fly Slave, which we could do, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I actually feel like I might have a better idea of what I would want as a Fly Pokemon. I mean, Swanna would be pretty interesting, but I'm actually considering Bravery. I'm actually considering getting a Rufflet and evolving into Bravery. That's what I'm actually considering. And up here, we'll find a Pokemon Daycare, which is pretty cool. You can get your Pokemon to breed here. You can send two Pokemon in here, and they will breed for you. And you can also level them up as you walk outside. So, that's pretty cool. And over here is a little Pokemon, is a little nursery for actual kids. No, Pokemon kids. But you can battle all the trainers here and they uh, give you extra experience. And if you go inside, you can heal up. Because uh, one of the nice nursery uh, people uh, helps heals you up. Okay, so we got a Lillipop level 10 here. So if you need to take on additional levels, the, uh, there's trainers here that can help you out with that. Why don't I use Water Sport? Water Sport's not a very useful move at all. Water Sport weakens the power of fire type moves, which is pretty good if you think about it, because you, if you can bring in a Pokemon that would be weak to fire types, like a grass or bug type Pokemon. But since I don't have any grass or bug type Pokemon, Water Sport is not really that useful. And despite the fact that a lot of water Pokemon can learn it, it's weird that like, water Pokemon can learn it, it's, it's not really helping them at all, it's actually helping some of the other Pokemon in your party, not the water type Pokemon. Okay, so she's bringing in a Muna here. We have the super effective bite on our Yorkshire here, so let's go for the bite. Okay, so let's go for the super effective bite. Let's see if that does a lot of damage. Okay, not bad. Okay, defense curl is going to boost your defense up one stage. I don't really care about that. And we should be able to take it down. Not bad. Nice work, Yorkshire. And nice work, Samuel, as well. It's a pretty good team. So we have the other little kids here as well. 
and I believe there's a, some item, there's an item in that sand pit. Take this hyper beam. You really have a Pokemon that learns hyper beam. If you do have a Pokemon that learns hyper beam, I'm a little bit scared. But of course, you're just to level 10, so you won't actually have a Pokemon that's uh, it actually got hyper beam. So she's gonna have one of the elemental monkeys here, which is kind of annoying because of my design weak to the elemental monkeys, especially Sat, uh, especially Pansage here. If, especially if it even knows Vine Whip, which I really hope it does not know Vine Whip. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try and keep it in here until it decides to hit me with Vine Whip. Oh, it doesn't hit me with Vine Whip at all, which is pretty good. Was used Lick there. And Lick had a chance to paralyze, but frankly, it did not paralyze. So I'm very happy about that. And level 16 for Samuel, which means I think Samuel might evolve. No. Okay. When does Samuel evolve then? Well, Samuel's probably uh, like quite high level, so I'm gonna switch him out the front of the party and let Yorkshire deal with a few battles now. So, maybe I think Samuel is somewhere near evolving. I don't know if he's ready yet, but he'll, he'll be ready in the next three episodes. Probably by the end of this one, maybe the next one, he might be ready to evolve into his next evolution stage, which would be pretty cool. So the kids here have the all the elemental monkeys. The last one had Pan Sage. This one has Pan Paw, which is the water type Pokemon, water type one. And of course, the next one should have Pan Seer, which is the fire type one. Okay, so I'm going to bite you again. And down you go. Nice work, Yorkshire. Okay, so we beat that guy, and we don't get a lot of money from these kids because they're kids. So. You know, we, we should be glad that we got $40 for one of the kids at all. Okay, so Preschool Wendy has a Pansia, which is the fire type Pokemon. It's a fire type monkey Pokemon. So let's go and take that down. And then we can take on the next trainer. Oh, you have Incinerate. That's pretty bad. Incinerate does have the chance, if you're holding a berry, it will burn your berry. So it will burn your berry and you will not be able to use your berry if the... Which is annoying, really, because if you're holding a berry and you want... You preferably want to use the berry that you're holding, right? Okay, so Yorkshire grows level 15 and wants to learn Takedown. Okay. Takedown's quite a good move. It's more powerful than a tackle, but the fact is it does cause recall. So I'm not going to learn Takedown. So, no Takedown for me. Okay, so do you battle? No, you don't battle. So if I go in here, I should be able to talk to this nice lady here who will heal us up. Okay. Not bad. Yes, I'm familiar with doubles battles. This girl will teach you about doubles battles. We don't need to know all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. What do you say? What do you say? Come back here. I know what this person says. What do you say? Damn it. Keep on getting mixed up. I keep on letting them pass. Damn it. Talk to me. Ah. I'll oh, run in. You're going to chase me. You. Are you going to chase me? No, I don't want to chase you. Change your perspectives. Reality changes. Look, just literally stop these two from running. That's pretty cool. So, what do you talk about? you over here on this cushion okay okay so you're talking about the daycare again okay so I think we should go on and take on the uh, take on team plasma in the cave up ahead and then we should maybe think about considering ending this episode because these episodes are supposed to be quite they're not supposed to be that long but they're fine so there's an item here and there's a person who's battling, and there's a breeder here as well. Okay, so we're going to face this breeder here, and then we're going to go and check on what the item is. Okay, so what you got, breeder? She's got three Pokemon, and she starts with a Pat Rat. Level 9. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, we can handle level 9. Level 9's easy. Okay, so I'm going to bite you. That does a lot of damage. Not bad. Hold on, Yorkshire. Okay, Leah's going to lower the fence, and we'll bite him again. But And down goes the Pat Rat. Not even bad. OK, 
Okay, so Lillipop coming in. We can handle Lillipop. Lillipop is level 9 as well. We can handle that. And we can bite it. And does about half. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then we can bite him again. And down goes the Lillipop. Not even bad. Okay, so you also have a Piddover as well. Piddover is the normal flying type Pokemon of this game. It's your standard Route 1 bird Pokemon. And it's okay, I guess. It's not the best Route 1 bird Pokemon. That's Pidgey. I love Pidgey very much. So, in my personal opinion, that's Pidgey. Don't get in the, on me in the comments section saying it's not Pidgey, actually. It's probably like Vero or something like that. Because that is, in my personal opinion, I really like Pidgey. Oh, you're going to give us an Orin Berry. Not bad. An orange berry will heal you 10 HP, and you can ha a you can give it to a Pokemon, and they will automatically heal 10 HP as well. And here's a repel. Not bad. Okay, so we can go and talk to Cheren. They ran inside here, Joe. Joe, your Pokemon's HP is fine. Are you ready to go? Then let's go. Okay, let's go. So in this cave, we will find. Team Plasma members, Joe. This bothersome bunch doesn't under listen to reason. That child cannot use the Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make the Pokemon sad? It's a sh it's the same thing. It it's the same thing for all your Pokemon. So hand them over to us now. Better yet, we'll make you. Okay. If you're going to try and make us hand over our Pokemon, I'm going to make you end up losing your alliance. Okay, so this Team Plasma government has a Patras. So, Team Plasma seems to run primarily normal types, really. Which is annoying, because, you know, most evil teams run primarily normal types. Oops, this one seems to have Detect, though, and Detect, of course, blocks me from hitting a move on him. For, so, for one turn. That's annoying. Okay, so... You're going to detect again? Or are you going to bide this time? Well, that's not really going to help you. You're dead. Bye-bye. And we level up to level 16. Not even bad. Can Yorkshire evolve? I know Yorkshire's almost near evolving too. Oh! It is time for Yorkshire to evolve. Yay! Okay, so Yorkshire's going to evolve here. Not even bad. And we have a Hurdia. Congratulations, your Yorkshire evolved into a Hurdia and even looks more like a Yorkshire Terrier. What? How could we lose? We're fighting on, uh, we're fighting on the right side. Not bad, Joe. Okay, now return the Pokemon that you stole from that girl. You don't need to return it. Okay, there's more po there's more Team Plasma grunts. How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, and, but you've actually got in the way to boot. There's two of you and there's two of us. So we'll show our combined battle and teach you that we are right. So, there are more of them. Still, they're, why are Pokemon robbers acting so self-righteous? Joe, we've been friends our whole life. If we got to get that Pokemon back. So, we got each other's back when it counts, don't we? Let's show it how it's done. Okay, so we're going to doubles battle with Cheren on our side against these two Team Plasma Grunts. I've got to say, I really love the music for Team Plasma. It's just some of the best Evil Team music there is. I mean, Cyrus does have some really nice music, and Team Galactic have some really nice music as well, but I really do like the Team Plasma grunt music. It's just so cool. Okay, Yorkshire has Intimidate now, which is really cool, because that means that it, that it lowers their attack power, which is really good. And I like Yorkshire. Like, Yorkshire's really good now. Okay, so very uh, Cheren! Could have killed it! Okay, I'll finish it off then, Cheren. Okay, down goes one Pat Rat. I 
and you're going to use Vine Whip on that Pat Rat. It's not going to do a lot of damage. In fact, that Pat Rat should probably live a few attacks now. Which I don't like. Tackle. Oh, not bad. See, this is why I really like Lillipop and Herdia and uh, Scoutland. They have really powerful attack stats. In order to liberate Pokemon uh, from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Oh, uh, whatever. What a waste of time you are. Come on. The reason you possibly could be just stalling for time. Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. No, we're not. What do you mean uh, Pokemon trainers are making Pokemon suffer? I don't get it at all. We'll give you back that Pokemon. But be aware of how po a Pokemon suffers when it's being used by people. Someday, open your eyes and to your own complicity. Okay. Trainers that bring out the Pokemon's strength. The be Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand. What about... That makes Pokemon suffer. In fact, in, in, we are unlocking the Pokemon's true potential. Okay, Joel. I will return the Pokemon. Okay. And we can go around here. And in this cave, there are certain elements of this cave that you need to surf for. Uh, we will come back here and uh, explore what this cave has when it's time. We don't have surf right now, so we can't do that. But we can run into Wubat here. Wubat is a... Uh, it's sort of like the Zubat of this game, and it's not a very good Pokemon at all. It is Psychic Flying type, so our bite is super effective against it. So we can take it down rather easily. Okay. And I did see an item down here, so what's that? Okay, so that's TM46 Thief. Okay, not bad. Thief is one of the really easy TMs to obtain, really. It's just like... Really, it's it's always there, and someone always gives it to you, and they're like it's not hard to find at all. It's thief. It's not a very good TM, but it's some it's always nearby. Joe, thank you so much. You two got her Pokemon back. I'm lucky to have friends like you two. Thank you, Mister. Please take these as a present. And she gives us heal balls. Heal Balls will heal... Uh, if you try and catch a Pokemon with Heal Balls and it's on low health, it'll heal it back up to full health. So that's pretty cool. But also he putting a Pokemon in the PC heals it back up to full health as well, so it's not really that necessary. Oh, those are Heal Balls. They completely heal a captured Pokemon on the spot. How sweet for you. I'm going to go and see if this girl gets on her way. I'll see you later, Joe. Bye-bye. Okay. She's going to take the little girl away now. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to go and heal. And then we can probably take on the rest. And then we can try and get to the next town in this maybe episode. Because there's still time left. I'd still have to try and get to the next town. So I'm going to go and heal. Talk to this nice person here. We will heal us up rather nicely. Not bad. And we can try and get to the next town. Okay, so let's do that. We can go down here, and we can run into battles as well. It's annoying. Okay, so what do you have, Mr. Person who's uh, talking about the trainer school? Which, where's the trainer school in this game? Oh yeah, it's in uh, Stride City. That's it. So you have a Britzel. Okay, that's a Pokemon I actually consider putting on the team, which I can obtain around here, actually, because uh, Blitzel is a... Uh, Electric type Pokemon, which is actually a, re it's a really good electric type Pokemon. It's actually really, really fast, and it's based on a Zebra, so it's a really nice Pokemon. So I wouldn't mind taking a Blitzel if you can find one in the grass. I might have to take one. I might have to take one up because they're a really good Pokemon. But then again, there's Garfantua as well, and I wouldn't mind taking one of those as well because I would like to have an electric type on the team, but I don't know which one yet. I haven't got an idea of which one I want yet. Which is good for this LP because the fact is I get to design my team, which is good. Okay, so we got an antidote here. An antidote will heal you from poisoning, so that's pretty cool. 
Of course, though, in this game, poisoning will not hurt you outside of battle. This is another uh, element that was added by the 5th gen to uh, not hurt you by poisoning, so poisoning doesn't really do that much for you these days. Uh, Jaw stop! There's dark grass here. Every now and again, two Pokemon will come out and battle you at the same time. In other words, you have to be careful about the dark grass. I'm heading to Nacarine City. Also, Charon, what Charon did not tell you about the dark grass is Pokemon inside the dark grass are actually quite stronger. So there are some higher level Pokemon inside the dark grass, and you do get quite a bit more experience from going into dark grass. So that's pretty cool. I think you're the last. Um, I think you're the last trainer on this route. I mean, there are other trainers on this route, but I think the rest of them are optionable, so you don't have to face them. This one's sort of in the way, so you do have to face her. I mean, you can, there are ways you can avoid her, but like, I'm not very good at that. Okay, so Intimidate lowers the attack, and I'm going to go bite. I'm going to bite you. Okay, then you live with like 1 HP, that's fine. And I'm going to tackle you. So, that should take you down. Not bad. Nice work, Yorkshire. Okay, so Yorkshire is level 17 as well. Not bad. And we beat that school kid. Okay, so maybe I should switch Yorkshire out the front of the party and bring Samuel back into the front of the party again. Yeah, no, now Yorkshire's ahead on levels. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch Samuel back in now. Because, you know, equal levels and everything. I might have to grind for the gym. Just a smidge, because I think the next... The gym leader's highest is level 20 or something like that. But we will honestly see. Okay, so you're not, not an optionable trainer. If I decide to go into the grass, you probably were an optionable trainer. But I did go into the grass. Okay, so what do you have? You have two Pokemon. School Kid Edgar has a Piddle. Okay, Piddle level 12. And we are so close to Nakarine City now. So, I will go and face that one last trainer off screen and then we'll uh, probably helpfully use that as grinding. As well as some wild Pokemon in the dark blue glass. Because in the dark blue grass, higher level Pokemon. Easier for training, because I'm going to need a bit more training, I think. Okay, so the Pudov goes down. And you have a rock, a rock and Roller as well. Okay, so Rock and Roller is this is this gen's version of Geodude. And it's not a bad get. It's not a bad Pokemon. I actually consider using one. And of course, in this game, the Sturdy was invented. The Sturdy that you and I know today was invented. Before this, Sturdy just allowed you to not hit 1k KO moves, like a Horn Drill and Fisher and stuff like that. But these days, uh, Sturdy allows you to live an attack with 1 HP. You will always live with 1 HP, so if you try, if you try and one-shot a Pokemon, it will live with 1 HP, which annoys me. So you have to attack it again. That's fine. Okay, so we are going to go through this gatehouse here, and we are going to talk to Charon again. Hello, Charon. Come with me for a sec, Joel. Okay. Where are we going, Charon? Where are we going? Are we there yet? Are we there yet, Charon? Are we there yet? If you go straight from here, you'll find a Pokemon Center. And use these if you want. Okay, Chesto Berries. Chesto Berries allow us to wake up from sleep, and we can make a Pokemon hold them as well. Give your Pokemon a Chester Berry to hold, and then if it falls asleep, it will wake up immediately. Oh, another piece of advice. Nacarine City's uh, gym leader uses normal type Pokemon. If you go against it with fighting type Pokemon, you should have a big advantage. Okay. So if I use fighting type Pokemon, I should be able to have a big advantage against uh, uh, the Nacarine City gym, which I can't remember the name of the gym leader in this game. Damn it. Is it... I don't actually don't know it. I should probably go and find that out, but I'll do that in the next episode. So we're going to end today's episode right here in Nacreen City. So in today's episode, we went to Nacreen City and we found out that Team Plasma was trying to steal a little girl's Pokemon, and we go and retrieved it from the Team Plasma members who think they're doing, who think they're liberating Pokemon from foolish trainers, and we are proving to them that we are not foolish trainers. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of the Pokemon Black LP. And until next time, I am Joe's PH Games, and I will see you again.